Good afternoon. Today I'm in Elk Falls, Kansas. In Elk Falls, Kansas, we're standing on a Pratt Trust Bridge built in 1893. It's on the National Historical Register marks. It's not used anymore. They've taken the roadway up. It's got, looks like four by four oaks, beams across it now. And it's all, it's all redone, the, the bed is. And it's just for foot traffic only. I mean, you can't drive across or anything. But it sets right here and you get to see the Elk Falls. You can see the you can see the natural rock on this side forming the where the river Elk River runs over it. But if you look on the opposite side, they've kind of built it up a little bit with a little bit of a rock wall that comes across. Ends right about there. Probably with the intention of at one time making this where the mill dam would be. And maybe there was a mill dam here at one time. I, I, that I don't know. It's not mentioned anywhere. But anyway, it's beautiful. We've had a lot of rain, so the river's up and a little muddy. But uh, normally it runs, this is a fairly clear river and it runs real pretty down through here. It's a real neat place. I'm here about Glenlivet today, Glenlivet and Adura. This is the 15 year old one, 54.9% alcohol by volume. Nadura means the natural, if I remember right. This was bottled in 312, batch 0312S. This is natural cask strength, uh, and this is a bourbon cask matured Glenlivet, the Nadura. So they have several Naduras. Some are, oh my gosh, I'm not even in the frame. God, excuse me, guys. Uh, some of it is sherry matured. Some of it's bourbon matured. I think they've even got a peated cask one. Uh, but this one is the bourbon matured one. Uh, I've had it for some time and I've just opened it probably about two months ago and I'm sorry I waited that long. This is really, really, really good stuff. It's non-chill filtered. It doesn't say anything about color, but I can, uh, I would think at 15 years and it's not overly orange, I would, I would think it wouldn't be colored, but can I say for sure? No. So anyway, let's change hands here a little bit. So, this, it's a nice golden amber. It's a little lighter, it's not a pure amber, and probably amber minus one or two there. Good coating on the glass. First thing I get is green apples. The very first thing that comes across is green apples. There's a toffee. It's not caramel, it's not brown sugar, this is toffee. The vanilla, there is a maltiness to it. And you expect the maltiness. There's a raspberry note in it. There's a little vanilla in the very end of that. Let's go ahead and take a sip. It does not drink like 54.9%. It comes across more like maybe 46% tops. 46% That's what this really comes across. I'm sorry, it's a 16 year. I said 15, I meant 16 year. Vanilla. There's a chocolate fudgy note to it. Almond, cinnamon. Still got the apples, but they're a little more tart. I don't really get the raspberries that I get on the nose. There's a richness that develops. A very, very rich note. A 
Now, I'm getting into the finish. The first thing I'm noting is strawberry. And think of strawberry jam or jelly. Do not think of fresh strawberries. Uh, more of the sugar jam or jelly. I get a strawberry note to this. Still get the vanilla. The vanilla is there. It's tart. It's, it's, gosh, it's rich. It's almost like, and now we're back to almost apple pie. I mean, really, honestly, I think you could pour this. If you made an apple pie and you poured just a little bit of this into an apple pie, I think it would be really, really great. Because, I mean, now we're at the tail end of the finish. This is a medium, long, long finish. And it's got a little like, apple pie, crusty, sugary note to it that you get into it. I mean, this is, I really like it. I haven't, I've got a Glenlivet 18, I think, or 21, I can't remember. I've not opened, I need to open, but I don't think it's gonna be what this is. This ABV just carries it through and it does not drink like 54.9%. No way, not even close, not even close. It is so rich, creamy, mouth coating. That cinnamon's there too. That cinnamon on that palate. It really starts to pop on the second sip. You really start to notice. No water needed. I'm sure water would change it. But I've had you know, a significant portion of it. And I've never, I've added water once. But in all honesty, doesn't need it. doesn't need it it's just so rich this is a very good very very good very good I like it a lot so with that I think I'm going to give it a score I'm going to give it a high score because I really like this 91 out of 100 this is a 91 out of 100 I don't know how available it is I bought it off the shelf two years ago and it was a 312. It took me a year and a half or a year and nine months to open it. Felt like I had a bug on my finger. I've seen a few bugs fly around. Guys, it's good stuff. I better not linger on here anymore. So, another good look at the Elk River in Kansas. That's. That's about a foot up, maybe. It's not real high. It's about a foot foot high, normal. But it sure is a pretty, pretty spot. It really is. If you ever get down here near Elk Falls, that's just right outside of town. You can drive right up to it. It's a real neat, interesting place. Everybody, remember the spirit in your glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip, and enjoy it. You'll be better for it, as will we all. And especially if you get your little Glenlivet Nadura. Everyone have a good evening.